Hello fellow gamers, I'm playing Fortnite Save the World and um, I've finally decided which of my weapons to um, actually supercharge but uh, before that I will show you uh, the weapons I was actually thinking of supercharging um, I got it down to about 8 and um, I've actually been um, testing the various weapons out that um, I was thinking of actually supercharging um, I've spent a week or two of um, you know just doing that to make sure that I was actually supercharging the uh, the right weapon because um, you don't get many weapon superchargers and uh, I wanted to make sure that um, I uh, supercharged the correct one because there's no point in me supercharging um, a weapon either that I'm, I'm not going to use so um, initially I was thinking I was going to uh, supercharge either the uh, Storm King Storm King's Fury or the Storm King Ravager and then I thought no they're, they're pretty OP as it is I can always um, supercharge those at a later date so um, as you can see I have quite a few God Roll 130 weapons uh, I've got 86 in total at the minute and I will only evolve a weapon to uh, 130 once it does have full legendary perks as you can see so the let's do it by name so the first weapon i was actually um thinking of uh supercharging where is it there is the hemlock um i did change that final perk to the uh, the same as the uh, bundle bus because I had it, uh, I think, giving me uh, shields over so many th over three seconds or something like that. So um, I changed it to uh, landing five hits in a row on a single target causes a small explosion, damaging enemies within 0.5 tiles off the target for 70% damage. And uh, it is a pretty decent SMG. That. Um, 101,505 DPS, damage of 10,253, headshot damage of 12,816, critical hit chance 43%, critical hit damage 345%, fire rate 9.5 which is pretty high, magazine size of 35 and a range of 4,096 and the durability is 300 because it is of course a sunbeam. Uh, the second SMG I was actually thinking about uh, promoting is the Silenced Spectre and uh, that has a DPS of 99,125, damage 7,778, not quite as much as the Hemlock, headshot damage 13,611, critical hit chance 48%, critical hit damage 210 percent fire rate of 12.74 which is even more than the uh, the hemlock magazine size of 30 and a range of 3584 so the range is not quite as um, as long as the um, hemlock but it does have a, uh, a silencer on it so um, enemy you know you can pick off groups of enemies from a distance as long as they're not too close together um, they're not gonna actually um, hear your shots either so it's a pretty decent weapon so the first explosive weapon I was actually thinking of is the pot shot um, I was actually looking for a weapon that would um, take out smashers and uh, this is damage DPS of 181,902 damage of 279,850 headshot damage 279,850 critical hit chance 38% and critical hit damage 185% fire rate 0 0.65 magazine size of 6 and a range of 256 uh, but what I found with this is uh, because you use uh, 3 ammo per shot it's uh, very ammo hungry so after actually trying it out I thought mm, it's not really sort of viable weapon I'm going to uh, you know upgrade at the minute to uh, you know supercharge it so um, I sort of uh, discounted this one the first 
AR. So I was thinking of uh, supercharging. Is the Wraith. Um, now I've actually got two of these, as you can see, at uh, 130. The second one, um, I actually changed the uh, using one of my core re perks and changed that last perk. Standing in place for two seconds grants plus 11% damage, stacks up to five times. And moving from that position removes the effect completely. So that gives it up to an extra 55% damage over 10 seconds. And uh, it's got a DPS of 75,079, damage 11,667, headshot damage 20,417, critical hit chance 48%, critical hit damage 345%, which is uh, quite a lot, fire rate 6.43, it's, uh, it's basically just a slower firing siege breaker, but uh, with a bit more um, bang for your buck, shall we say. It's, it uh, does a bit more damage. Magazine size 30, range 5,120. As I said, I got that one, and then I've also got um, an Affliction Wraith as well. The problem I found with the uh, the one with the, doing the damage, you've got that uh, yellow thing that, that goes around your character, and it sometimes makes it a little difficult to, uh, to see where you're shooting. So the next, AR I was uh, thinking about was the bundle bus and uh, that has a DPS of 85,917 damage of 14,319 Headshot damage 25,058, critical hit chance of 43%, critical hit damage of 345%, fire rate of 6, magazine size of 32, range of 5,120. And uh, that is, is pretty decent AR, I do, uh, do actually like the, the good old bundle bus. And uh, that last perk, landing five hits in a row on a single target, causes a small explosion, damaging enemies within 0.5 tiles off the target for 70%. And as I said, I changed the, the Hemlock uh, final perk to the same one as this one. And um, I've actually got uh, two energy bundle buses, one in Sunbeam and one in Brightcore. Two fire ones, one in Sunbeam and one in Brightcore. So the next AR I was actually thinking of was the Grave Digger. And as you can see, I've actually got four of these now. Um, I did have two. Uh, I bought a third one from the store when it was available. And then I used my weapon research voucher to get a fourth because I wanted one in every single element. And uh, DPS on that is 86,550 damage of 12,020, headshot damage 18,034, uh, 31 sorry, critical hit chance 38%, critical hit damage 185%, fire rate 7.2, magazine size of 40 and a range of 4,096. So the final AR I was thinking of Um, God roll, uh, God roll, um, promoting and uh, supercharging is the siege breaker. And again, I've got, to, I'm going to end up having uh, two of every one of these in every single element. Not the bright core one. I'm probably just going to um, supercharge this sunbeam uh, variants of weapons, unless it's of course explosive, and then it has to be um, bright core. So the Siege Breaker has a DPS of 106,915, damage 9,899, headshot damage of 14,849, critical hit chance of 38%, critical hit damage 185%, fire rate of 10.8,
magazine size of 30 and a range of 4096 and uh, for those of you who actually play battle royale you will know that this is uh, one of the most uh, favorite favorite weapons of everyone that uh, plays that game and it's uh, still a decent AR in save the world as well and the final weapon that I was thinking of supercharging the Xenon bow and uh, that has a DPS of 112,006 damage 62,225 headshot damage 155,564 critical hit chance 51% critical hit damage 345% so every one in two shots is doing is going to be doing that 345% critical hit damage fire rate 1.8 magazine size of one range of 10,240 and uh, all the bows have a range of about 10,000 apart from the boom bow which has a range of 25,000 so I, I don't know why the boom bow is actually different. Um, there was actually, a, I could have actually reset that and I didn't because I didn't want it to, to, uh, to change the range to the same as all the other bows, which it might have done. So I thought I am not risking it. So out of all these eight weapons, the weapon I have decided to supercharge is going to be the Xenon bow. And my reason for this is it, uh, the, the right shield husks it actually shoots through those shields and it is the only weapon that I know of that actually does that. The uh, the Noble Launcher, the Ravager, uh, the Ghost Pistol, they, they all do um, similar sort of types of damage but um, this is the only one that uh, pierces so um, and it's, uh, it's not too bad against smashers as well. So uh, let's promote this, we need uh, one weapon supercharger 350 weapon designs and 31,500 schematic XP and as you can see they've actually got 10 superchargers I did have nine and uh, this week's um, power level 160 mission alerts was actually for a weapon supercharger so I can um, supercharge a second weapon but <laughs> I haven't quite decided which one I'm doing as the second one possibly the bundle bus maybe but uh, until I've decided 100% I'm just not gonna gonna do it and I'd rather use all five uh, superchargers on one weapon than like put one here and one there probably should have wrote down the difference between them before I uh, upgraded it but uh, hey yo uh, so uh, I think I do have one in my backpack. Yeah, I do. So uh, let's craft a second one. So before it was 112,000 DPS. Now it's 128,000 DPS. And this does affliction damage as well, which is my preferred um, end perk out of all the weapons. Uh, let's have a look at that 62,225 155,564 71,244 and 178,110 that's going to be uh, some weapon uh, I'm actually not going to show any footage of it uh, in action um, you probably see that at a later date because it is a weapon I will be using um, pretty regular so uh, I'm actually gonna end this video there so uh, thanks for watching don't forget to smash that like button if you're new to my channel then why not subscribe hit the bell notification symbol you'll be notified when I publish new videos on YouTube if you'd like to help out my channel you can do so by sharing my videos on social media Facebook Instagram Twitter etc tell all your gaming friends about my channel help my channel to grow if you'd like to help out my channel a little bit financially I do have a patreon account and you can pledge from just one dollar a month and there's a link to my patreon in the description of all of my YouTube videos if you are under the age of 18 please ask your parents permission before pledging that's all I ask and uh, for the first 
10, 12 people that do pledge on my Patreon. Um, I will give a link to either your YouTube channel or if you're a Twitch streamer, your Twitch channel. So it's basically a cheap shout out. So for a, for a dollar a month, uh, you'll get your name and uh, link to your channel in the description of uh, all my videos for as long as you are pledging. Alternatively, you can also help out my channel by using my support creator code, which is the same as my YouTube gaming channel name, Starfish underscore Central. And again, a big thank you to those of you, both past and present, who have been kind enough to use my code. It is very much appreciated and it's really going to help out my channel. So uh, please don't forget to use it if you do make a purchase either in uh, Battle Royale or even if you um, buy something from the, um, the Epic Store, uh, you can use the create code uh, for that as well basically buying different games and things uh, another way you can help out my channel is by watching the adverts on my videos uh, you don't have to I do make my adverts skippable um, I give the viewers the choice as to whether they do want to watch the adverts or not although I don't get paid if you don't watch the adverts and uh, the only ones I don't think you can skip are sometimes at the beginning of the video possibly at the end where it's like a 10 second advert um, but uh, apart from that the rest the rest of them are, are skippable Many thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.